Joel and Ray, welcome to the Spencer Dispenser. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> how did your collaboration come about? <laughs> right, how did the collaboration come about? So last summer I was in a music studio and I was working yeah. with a, so a songwriter called Jin Jin. And Jin Jin writes a lot of music with Ray. And Jin Jin played me a few demos of Ray's. And one of them was the bed idea. So as soon as I heard it, I was like, I've got to work on this track. I love it. So I slid straight into Ray's DMs and was like, Ray, let's get in the studio. I want to do this. And she was like, oh, David, Gu I wrote this one with David Guetta. So I was like, oh, my God, that's crazy. So oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so I emailed David Guetta, just casually emailed him. <laughs> and um, he, was, he was happy for me to work on it with Ray. So me and Ray got in the studio. And uh, here we are. <laughs> and Bob's your uncle. What is your song, Bed, about? It's about having a bed but wanting to be in someone else's bed. I summed it up pretty well, I think, right? <laughs> Nailed it. What, what time do you like to get out of bed? Well, like, I'm a, what go are on. you? You're I'm like a, 6 I'm an early bird. Yeah, I'm an early bird. I'm like, wake up 6am, wide That's awake, ready sick. to go. <laughs> That's craziness I, my ideal waking up time ideally is like 1 p.m <laughs> we're in different time zones man we really are. <laughs> what show are you enjoying on your tv at the moment <gasps> we spoke about this earlier yeah queen's gambit queen's gambit I'm, we both been i'm watching it. celebs go dating right now though so is, that with, um, is that with Joey Essex? No, it's got Chloe from Geordie Shaw. Yeah. How's she getting on? Well, I saw a post that her and Wayne Lineker is engaged or something. I saw so that. I'm, yeah, so I'm watching to see if this happens on this show. Okay, yeah. What was your favourite TV show as a child? Ooh. I loved the tweenies. Did you? I love The Simpsons, you know. I used to watch The Simpsons oh, every yeah, night. Yeah, after yeah, school. yeah, yeah, yeah. Simpsons wins. You win, Simpsons. Yeah. What were you like at school? <laughs> I, I, was I was so good. loud. I was, yeah, yeah I, could, I could imagine you. Being yeah, loud. I was getting sent out. I was always arguing with the teachers. I was really into my football, so I was always like Did catching you? the football team. Yeah, I used to play my football lunchtime, so I was yeah. kind of like, yeah. I think oh. I was good at school. Was, was you good. good? Was you a good I was, kid? Yeah, I, was, I, was, I wasn't like teacher's pet good, but I was good. But you was good. <laughs> Damn. I was the opposite of you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, miss. Was you trouble? I was rowdy. I was having it, Joel. I was rowdy. I'm not going to lie. What food would you say you consumed too much of? Ketchup. Does that count? Good one. I've consumed so much ketchup in my life. <laughs> Joel, buckets of it in my life. Gallons. Do you know what? Ket ketchup makes everything taste good. It like, does! You, Pizza. You have, oh, everything. It just mac adds that extra. Oh, oh, mac and cheese is my favourite, you know. With ketchup. Well, I just like, I love it. Well, <laughs> with or without. <laughs> <laughs> I, just lo I just love mac well. and cheese. Which song do you wish you had written? That's a great question, isn't it? I I would say Calvin Harris and Rihanna, We Found Love. Wow, yeah. I would say Living on a Prayer. Ooh, classic. I would have so much money in my bank account. But wrote that! <laughs> wow! What is the spookiest thing that has happened to you? Hmm. Oh. Spooky. One, one time, our, outside our family house, we were, going, we were going on a long drive up north when we were younger. 
open the door. I opened the door and there was a dead black cat in the front door. That's oh so my God. creepy, isn't it? That's awful. That's dead. horrible. Black cat, dead. And I opened the door and I was like 10, like, mom. <laughs> That's going to scar you for life, that. Yeah, that was scary. Do you have you? any phobias? Um, I don't like curtains. What? That's so weird. <laughs> the way that's why you wake up early because you don't yeah, like curtains. I just yeah, I just yeah, just not my thing. Do you know what I mean? I, I just yeah, I just right. don't like them. No curtains for me. See, if I didn't have curtains, I would wake up as soon as the sun rise, rise, rose. I'm more of a shutter rises. person. I'm more rises. like I'm more into my shutters. Like know. blinds. You don't, you have a phobia <laughs> of curtains. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy, though. For you to go to a hotel, like, please remove the curtains. Joel's <laughs> assistant getting to the hotel for, like, please remove all curtains. <laughs> Excuse me. There are curtains in the room. <laughs> Excuse me, Joel's got to his room. He's very disappointed because there's a set of curtains in this room. Please remove them immediately. Yeah. I'll go in. I will. I will go in on trip. On I will leave a bad review on TripAdvisor if there's curtains in that room. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. What makes you angry? Your post is. Oh, what makes you angry, Joel? Oh God! Um, what makes me angry? Um, do you know what? I don't get angry that often, actually. Traffic, I hate traffic, man. Oh, that's traffic, nice. yeah. Traffic, traffic is that. Yeah. Traffic and, yeah. And, cu- and curtains. What makes obviously. me angry. The... <laughs> do you know? I'll tell you what makes me angry and sad and depressed all at the same time. <laughs> Being cold, yeah. Aye, <laughs> yeah. That's my worst. You Honestly, that I think it's like the main source of my disappointment <laughs> is being cold. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Don't do it at night. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? I would. Um, I would want to be invisible. You know, like, what's that program Bernard's Watch? Did you used to watch that back in the day? No, what's it called? Bernard's, Bernard, Bernard's Watch. No, <laughs> Bernard's Watch. No. Did Bernard used to watch people when he was invisible? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to go into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. Um... If if I could do anything for a day, do you know what I do? I would actually, I would visit all the Six Flags that I could in a day in America. I would travel. I'd wake up, Joel, at 4 a.m. just to go to the first Six Flags, go on all the rides, fast track, get on a plane, next one, get on a plane, next one. You, I you love, love you, roller coasters. You love roller coasters, yeah? Okay, I cool. love it. We need to go to a theme park together. Boy, let's let's do it. That would be I'm, sick. Let's do it. I'm in. Right. I'm done. in. Are you a clean or messy person? I'm clean. Apart, yeah, I'm clean. Can it be possible to be both? Because I'm. Because <laughs> I feel like I have to have a clean environment, otherwise I go crazy. But sometimes I'm in a messy state of mind and then I'm very like That's the same as me. Yeah, that's the same right. as me. Right. Yeah. Stages. Yeah. Yeah. Who would play you in a movie of your life? That's a big question. Yeah. God. Who would play you? Who would play Mum, I think of like a famous actor. I guess so. Or, I don't know. But what, what, Anyone. Actor look, <laughs> what actor looks like me? I know. I don't know what actor look, actress looks like me. Oh, that's such a hard question. Maybe like, maybe like, I don't know. 
an obvious one would be like your sister because she looks like you yeah my sister can definitely play me very great that's a good one i would say i'm trying to think who looks like you like who could play you like it better be someone good you can get like tom cruise oh yeah cool i'll take that He's yeah a dude. yeah tom yeah. cruise bang yeah Obvious. i can so see him like you know they cgi him young like 16 like playing in the clubs do you know what I mean it could be like I'm John Corey I have a dream do you know what I mean like I think he could kill it oh, and Top then he Gun could be you now <laughs> yeah I could see that who are you a big fan of who I'm a big fan of um I'm a big fan of Gordon Ramsay you are a big fan of Gordon Ramsay like that one today yeah I am a big fan of David Attenborough Love him. Sound of my lullabies every night. Love him too. Come on, telly. If you could eject anybody into outer space, never to see them again, who would it be? Ooh, that is a... Um, eject into outer space, I would have to say... Um, <laughs> like it's a, I'm, I'm walking on a political tightrope here right you know what I'm saying I'm like right um who, who are you throwing out to space you know what I'm gonna eject. Oh, oh I got one Go on. R Kelly get out get off the planet mate yeah that's mine I was I'm like does it have to be a someone could it be a something because if it's a I'm something sure. I'm yeah. gonna eject I'm ejecting COVID-19 out of space eject it bosh Gone. Joe and Ray, that concludes your questions for today. Thank you for taking part in the Spencer Dispenser. I loved it. Thank you so much. Thank that you, was... Spencer, for dispensing these, those questions for us. That was intense. Today.